Hello friends, welcome to BMH Learning. In this video, I'm gonna talk about gene tagging. Gene tagging refers to the identification of existing DNA or the introduction of new DNA that can function as a tag or label for the gene of interest. Gene tagging is the most common method used today for selection against different biotic and abiotic stress resistance studies in crop plants. There are four types of gene tagging. Marker-based gene tagging, transposon tagging, tDNA tagging, epitope tagging. Let's talk about marker-based gene tagging. A molecular marker is a DNA sequence which is readily detected and whose inheritance can be easily monitored. The effectiveness of molecular markers depend on their ability to identify variation in the DNA of a population. This is called as marker polymorphism. Molecular markers are widely used in marker-assisted breeding for tagging of an important trait in a breeding program. Now, the genome size of most plant species ranges between 108 to 1010 base pairs. So, even a small proportion of variation in DNA can yield a large number of potential markers. Desirable properties for a good molecular markers are high polymorphicity, co-dominant inheritance, easy, fast and cheap to detect, high resolution with large number of samples. Second gene tagging is transposon tagging. The defining property of transposable elements is their mobility. That is, they are genetic elements that can move from one position to another in the genome. Transposon tagging is a gene cloning strategy that relies on the transposon to provide a DNA tag with a known sequence. The transposon sequence is used to identify DNA sequences adjacent to the transposable element. Some transposable elements move in a replicative manner whereas others are non-replicative, that is, they move without making a copy of themselves. Transposons describe the DNA which can be cut away from one side and paste to the other place within the genome. This is called as cut and paste mechanism. Third type of gene tagging is tDNA tagging. tDNA of agrobacterium which is generally used as a vector in genetic transformation could also be considered as an insertional mutagen and with its sequence characterized tDNA could also be used as a tag. Insertion of foreign DNA can alter the expression of neighboring gene resulting in gain or loss of function which produces a screenable phenotype. The integrated tDNA is genetically stable However, from time to time, regions within the tDNA can become methylated and the resultant reduction in gene expression can result in phenotypic instability. Now, why tDNA is used? It's because active transposomes do not exist in every species including Arabidopsis. Agrobacterium mediated transformation is simpler. It's more likely to generate simpler full-length integration as compared to other methods. tDNA insertion mainly occurs in transcriptionally active area of the genome. Fourth and final type is epitope tagging. An epitope, also called as antigenic determinant, is any structure or sequence that is recognized by an antibody. A single large molecule such as a protein may have many epitopes. Epitope tagging offers several advantages over other methods of analyzing and purifying proteins. Epitope tagging is much faster than the traditional method of producing a new antibody to every protein studied. The same tag-specific antibody will recognize the epitope tag in many different proteins. Epitope tagging is much less costly and labor-intensive 
then setting up and maintaining antibody producing facilities. Adding a small epitope tag generally does not affect the function of the tagged protein, allowing the study of the tagged protein's role in the cell. This was all. Thanks for watching.